From the south at break of day, bringing to inches of fresh dismay, the affrighted air with a shudder bore, like a herald in haste to the chieftain's door, the terrible grumble and rumble and roar, telling the battle was on once more, and Sheridan twenty miles away. And wider still those billows of war thundered along the horizon's bar, and louder yet into Winchester rolled the roar of that Red Sea uncontrolled, making the blood of the listener cold as he thought of the stake in that fiery fray with Sheridan twenty miles away. But there's a road from Winchester town, a good broad highway leading down, and there, through the flash of the morning light, a steed as black as the steed of night was seen to pass with eagle flight. As if he knew the terrible need, he stretched away with the utmost speed. Hills rose and fell, but his heart was gay, with Sheridan only fifteen miles away. Under his burning feet the road, like an arrowy alpine river flowed, and the landscape flowed away behind, like an ocean flying before the wind. And the steed, like a bark fed with furnace fire, swept on with his wild eyes full of fire. But lo, he is nearing his heart's desire. He is snuffing the smoke of the roaring fray with Sheridan only five miles away. The first that the general saw were the groups of stragglers and then of retreating troops. What was done? What to do? A glance told him both, and striking his spurs with a terrible oath, he dashed down the line with a storm of huzzas. And the wave of retreat checked its course there because the sight of the master compelled it to pause. With foam and with dust, the black charger was gray. By the flash of his eye and his nostrils play, he seemed to the whole great army to say, I have brought you, Sheridan, all the way from Winchester town to save the day. Hurrah! Hurrah for Sheridan! Hurrah! Hurrah for horse and man! And when their statues are placed on high, under the dome of the Union sky, the American soldier's temple of fame, there with the glorious general's name, be it said in letters both bold and bright, here is the steed that saved the day by carrying Sheridan into the fight from Winchester 20 miles away.